Good morning, everybody. I'm Brett with Video Hot Rod, and today we are going to go over the tint filter. This is another look filter, and this is very similar to that tritone filter that we did a few days ago. However, this one only has one color instead of three. Okay, the sliders you have are amount and protect skin, and then you have a color. So I'm going to turn the amount down, and you can see how it just kind of allows the color and the brightness to come back into the original clip. And then as I tint it, it still has kind of the same brightness, but it makes the shadows a little darker. It makes the shadows and everything kind of fall under the color of this color, of the tint. As we change this color, we can see different effects it will have. And if we make it really bright, it will bring the shadows out. If we bring it really dark, it will make the shadows darker. So let's make it red deep red. Well, no, more of a bright red. And as we adjust the amount, you can see what's going on with, with the whole entire clip. And you can see how the shadows and the midtones are taking over the color. Well, the lights do kind of take a little bit of the tint, but not as much as, as the shadows and the midtones do. All right, now let's add the protect skin. And you'll notice, again, the dock is coming out, a little bit of a blur on the dock. Her arm is coming out, and her face is coming out. So that dock is supposed to be very close to regular skin tone. So you can see a little bit of the skin tone color here, here, here. I don't know that I like the protect skin on this very much. It doesn't really work for me. It's not doing what I want it to do. So I probably wouldn't use it myself. But the tint filter, I would use for sure. All right, that was the tint filter. Next time I'll go over the time code filter. Again, I'm Brett with Video Hot Rod. Thank you very much for watching.